President Trump this week vowed he will win Minnesota in the 2020 election. It's a tall order for a traditionally blue state. And new research shows Minnesota Congress members vote strictly along party lines. Here's Pat Kessler's reality check. We're going to keep making America great again. Congressional Republicans vote with their Republican president and Democrats do not. On average, Minnesota's Republicans vote with President Trump 94.9% of the time. Minnesota Democrats vote with the president only 5.6% of the time. But when you pull back the curtain, the tally by the website 538.com offers a fascinating inside look at how and why they vote the way they did. I am thrilled to be back in the great state of Minnesota. In 2016, President Trump was hugely popular in the conservative northwest Minnesota, winning by more than 30 points. Republican central Minnesota by 25.7. But in heavily populated Democratic inner city districts, he lost by 55 points and 30 points. The voting patterns of Minnesota's eight congressmen and congresswomen and two U.S. senators largely reflect that. Their votes depend on the political leanings of where they live. From most to least, here's how Minnesota Congress voted this year. Republican Tom Emmer, 97.4% of the time with President Trump. Jim Hagedorn, 95%. Pete Stauber, 92.5. Came this close to winning the state of Minnesota. Among Democrats, Colin Peterson voted 15% of the time with Trump the most. Newly elected Angie Craig and Dean Phillips voted 2.5% of the time. And Democrat Betty McCollum has a Trump voting record of 0.0%. Not a single vote for any Trump-sponsored legislation. Minnesota's two Senate Democrats have nearly identical Trump voting records. Amy Klobuchar, 6.3. Tina Smith, 5.9. And I'm really excited to, to be part of that progress. And hard to believe, but true. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, a frequent Trump target, voted with him 7.5% of the time, mostly because she voted against Democratic bills she felt compromised too much with Republicans. That's Reality Check.